Hello everyone. Welcome to the new series on the design of advanced digital system design. In this series, the focus is on designing the complex sequential circuit using the pure Verilog coding. We will be using seven series FPJ. We will start with the basis three board and we will be using the different kinds of P mods to uh, explore the various applications. Uh, for example, in the today's uh, sessions, we'll start with the basis three FPJ and we'll use the PMOD seven segment display. For the coding uh, as a tool, we will be using the Vivado 2022.1, which is the one of the latest tool. But you can also use the previous tool such as 2018, 2019, or even 2017 or before. So, in case you are new to the Verilog, I'll request you to go through the our uh, videos in our another playlist where we have discussed the basics of the combinational and sequential circuit design using the Verilog and how to make them synthesizable on the FPJ. So I'll request you to go through this set of videos before you uh, start uh, doing the exercises which are mentioned in this playlist. Now we will be discussing about what are the things we are going to do in the first few videos. So in the first uh, set of videos, we are going to design a sequence, simple clock division circuit to generate a clock of one megahertz frequency. And then we will design a counter, which is called as a seconds counter, which counts from zero to 60 and back to zero. So it's a mod 60 counter. Then we will be using the onboard seven segment display to display the value of the counter on the seven segment. Here, we are not going to use the PMOD seven segment, which are connected to the PMOD ports of the FPGA. Next, we are going to extend this uh, uh, code further and we are going to use the P mod as well as the onboard seven segment display. So here we are going to display the seconds as well as the minute counter. We are going to display the seconds counter on the two digits of the onboard seven segment display and as well as the P mod seven segment display. And we are going to display the minute counter on the two digits of the onboard seven segment display. As you can see, after the seconds reaches the uh, one round of 60, you can see that the minute counter is incremented by one. When you set the reset, you can see that the, all the counters are reset to zero. So this is a relatively simple lab where we'll be discussing the uh, how to integrate the seven segment display with the your FPGA board and how to write the sequential circuit and how to integrate the multiple modules of the sequential circuit together. So in the next video, we will start with the coding of the corresponding various blocks for the task one.